See, no one told you life was gonna be this way. Your job's a joke, you're broke, your love life's the away. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. And I'm just gonna drink while I'm singing. Yay, friends forever. I'm leaving now. Bye. I'm gonna stay right here, forget it. I'm gonna watch this. Gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris. Today I am ridiculously happy to be talking about the Friends collaboration with Makeup Revolution. I bought the three lipsticks in Phoebe, Monica, Rachel, and of course the Friends palette. I was a little skeptical at first about this. I was just like, I hope that they nailed this. Spoiler alert, they did. I have some critiques I think you guys should know before buying this. But it's really great. So if that's all you needed to hear from me in order to get it, go get you one. So let's just dive into... I do have a mug that he is using. This is mine. And no, it's not. It's mine. No, it's not. No, it's not. So let's talk about the palette. So this is the box that it comes in. I do love the packaging. I feel like they definitely nailed it. And then, of course, we have some information in the back. So this is a palette that has pressed pigments and eyeshadows. They do contain talc and mica. It has a 12-month shelf life. It is cruelty-free and vegan, and it is made in China. The palette has two different weights here. We have 24 grams for the eyeshadows, because there's 24 eyeshadows, one gram per eyeshadow. And then we have 6.9 grams for the three highlighters that are in the center, leaving it at 2.3 each. And here is... The palettes. Look at this palette. This is amazing. I'm obsessed. The back doesn't have a lot of information, which I don't mind at all. This is not cheapy. This is the best packaging that Makeup Revolution has ever come out with. And I'm really happy to see that because, I mean, there's so many fans with friends. You have to bring it and nail this. It has a lot of weight to this. When you open up the palette, it looks like this. You have all the shadows. It has a ginormous mirror. <laughs> hiring lights and then you can fold this all the way back it's incredible i mean when you see this in person i will highly suggest if you can if they have it in your altar near you and you are comfortable going outside to go check it out because it is just it's amazing anyways here is the color story and i'm gonna bring it up close so you guys can see let me know your thoughts and comments down below what you think of this color story the three in the center right here are highlighters and then you have eyeshadows on each side oh and pressed pigments so in terms of the color story this palette is definitely a palette that is more wearable like on a daily basis it does have a pop of blue and purple and green and of course this gorgeous orange that i do use today so let me go ahead and show you guys a pre-recorded swatches most of these swatches are done one time i think maybe one or two are done twice now i'll be real with you guys when i swatched some of the shimmers i thought that they were a little sheer and i thought they were going to be lacking i was like Mm, I'm not too crazy about them and after playing with the shadows I can say that there are certain ways to use them that you can get the highest payoff and the highest pigmentation in the pre-recording I only swatched the actual eyeshadow so I'm going to take the three highlighters right now which feel really nice and smooth and I do like the color range that they have I feel like it'll suit a lot of different skin tones here they are right here bam really gorgeous i used two of them on my face today i used mr heckles for my cheeks with a dry brush and it came out absolutely beautiful and icy and beaming and then i went ahead and i did use ugly naked guy just a little bit for the bridge of my nose and right here as well a little around my forehead just a tiny bit because this one is also super duper pigmented also guys i went ahead and i used joey for a blush today because i was just like this is a really really pretty color for a blush for me and it came out really pretty which just goes to show that this palette can be used for many different things so let me show you guys some live swatches right now because i want to show you what i was talking about in terms of like the sheer shadows at least what they came out looking like in terms of sheer um i'm gonna take richard he was one of them and i'm gonna take frank as well let me take chandler even though i do use that i want to show you the comparison and let's take monica oops I don't like to do pinky swatches. Sorry, I forgot. But here you go. Here's one, two, three, and then four. Look at this. Look at this. So Richard actually looks kind of good. Oh, wow. But um, Frank right here, 
You guys see what I'm talking about? Like it looks like it's lacking. Lacking luster and things like that. So when I swatched it, I was just like, oh. Let me show you guys some more. I'm going to take Mindy. Um, let's take Barry. Then I'm going to take Fun Bobby. And I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> but here you go. This is Mindy. Barry. And Fun Bobby. And there they are. Like you could see them. I feel like Fun Bobby is probably the best one. But they're just not as reflective as, like, I wanted them to be in a swatch. In a swatch. One thing I would say is to definitely use a brush that is more dense and more compact and tapered. It applies the shimmer in a way where it really just shows up and stands out. You can also, of course, wet your brush. Before we dive into the item, I want to talk about the lipsticks. These have a 12-month shelf life. They are, of course, cruelty-free and vegan. They are made in China. They weigh, hold on, 3.5 grams each. The packaging of these lipsticks is something that I honestly did not expect. Look at this. We have Phoebe, and here's the color up top. Monica, right here. We have Rachel. And there is the lippy up top. I feel like Monica is the one that I probably wear in terms of just feeling safe. That's my safety comfort zone. It felt really smooth going on the lips. The color is really cute. Now the Rachel lipstick, this actually surprised me because I didn't know it was going to look purple. So I was happy to see that because you guys know I love the color purple. But I decided not to keep it on my lips because I just didn't want a super cool tone vibe for this look. So the last one is Phoebe. Phoebe is definitely beautiful. I mean, I love it. It's super comfortable. And right now I've had it on for quite some time. And I forgot that it's there, to be honest. Let's see how much it transfers. Okay, there is a little bit of a transfer right there. I have been drinking some soda with it too. I haven't seen anything show up on the glass. Oh, a little bit little bit right here like right there it's very little very very little i want to say that it's still really good it doesn't look like it's disappearing so i still like this if you don't like that sort of thing where it like transfers things like that then maybe this is not for you but it's comfortable and i really really love the color now i would have loved to see them do the ichiban lipstick ichiban <laughs> Lipstick for men. Maybe they'll do it for the next launch. I don't know. But if they do, I will definitely be snatching that up. I don't think I ever wear that color like that. But I just gotta have it. Just to have it. Alright guys, so now for the eye demo. I'm using a couple of different brushes today. Two from the Beauty Bakery Bakeware set. And then three from Morphe. So first things first, I'm laying down some Kylie Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Maple. And then I'm gonna pat it down with a flat Morphe brush times Coca-Cola. Starting with the eye look, I'm gonna go in with the Whisk brush from the Beauty Bakery set and I'm going to pick up Ben and I'm just putting that on the actual concealer just to set it in. Next with the JH40 brush I'm going to go in with Mr. Geller and I'm going to put that all in my crease and then out into a wing. Now I do notice in terms of pigment that you do have to build this shadow up. I honestly feel like you have to build most of the shadows in this palette. Now remember I did set in the concealer. I know that when you leave a tacky base it'll grip on better and you may not have to build up as much but I I have noticed when it comes to Makeup Revolution palettes in the past, for me, it just works better when I set in the concealer. With the same brush, I'm going to go into Paolo. I put that slightly on top of Mr. Geller and above it just as a transition. And then just to make sure that I have no harsh lines with Paolo, I did use the same brush, but this time I went into Carol. And then I put that slightly on top of Paolo and above it just to fade that out. Then I went ahead and I cut my crease. I did a full cut crease all the way out to the very tip today you guys in case you guys are following me then with the beauty bakery flat brush i went ahead and i picked up chandler and i put that on the outer part of the cut crease all the way out to the very tip of that wing next to chandler using the same brush i went with monica just like chandler monica is also really pigmented you can go in with a finger with that shadow or with a dry brush no matter what it's going to look really really gorgeous next to monica i picked up 
Emily. This is the purple in the palette. So of course, you guys know I had to use that. And like the other ones, it is really pretty. It does show up. I feel like it will show up even better with a finger application, but I just stuck with the dry brush application. Now I was happy with the way it looks. And for the remainder of my lid, I went with Phoebe. I had to use that orange. It is such a gorgeous kind of burnt orange and honestly in the palette that's one of the first colors you notice my inner corner highlight i'm going to pick up the m431 brush and i'm going in with ross then to just bring a little bit more gold into it i lightly went in with frank and i put that right on top for the brown gold highlight i of course had to go in with rachel because i used all the other main characters so far in my face so couldn't leave Rachel out. For the lower lash line I went ahead and I picked up Ursula and I swooped it for the entire lower lash line. And then underneath that using the same brush I went in with Julie and I went in lightly with that one because it is a pigmented shadow. The last stitch I'm using today is from Nike's Beauty in Sexy. That is the look that I created with the Friends Times Revolution palette. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below on this. Let me know if you're gonna get it. Oh I didn't even show you guys that whole on when you close this it's like not a joke snap secured which is great because this is my new baby it is definitely something that i feel like if you are a huge fan is a collector's piece this is absolutely gorgeous and i cannot wait to see what else they come out with i definitely need to pick up the mirror because i was so upset at how quick it sold out i do have more videos coming your way i have one already recorded actually but i messed up your girl messed up i thought i was recording one of the eye looks it's a seven looks one palette series and i did not record one of the eye looks so i have to redo that specific eye look and then edit it and then i'll load it so anyway it's coming soon i hope you guys enjoy it because it definitely was it was a challenge i had to step out my comfort zone a little bit but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys are all staying safe i love you all so much thank you so much for spending time with me today to talk about makeup and chit chat back and forth i'll see you guys on the next one bye We'll